Out of the room, cause Doofy just made a stingy boom boom. He's filling the air up with all the green fumes. Ace hey, Lego playing go go boom. Lego play go boom. Lego play go boom. Ace hey, Lego playing go go boom. Meow! <laughs> what? Phone called Cinderella the 11 Zombie Apocalypse, and I was just about to beat the evil queen zombie and knock her off the castle to win the game, but then the Wi Fi went out. Megan, where did the internet go? Doofy, relax. I can't relax, the internet's dead! It's gone forever! We're all gonna die! Doofy, it's not gone. It's probably just because of the antennas we're flying with. You mean there's giant robot leg things on top of our plane that look nothing like antennas at all? Um, yeah. And the giant robot legs are why I can't get any Wi-Fi? Probably, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Megan, I'm gonna go destroy the giant robot legs. BRB! Doofy, no. What? You can't break the giant robot legs. I mean, uh, antennas. Yes, I can. I found a chainsaw. <laughs> ah! Doofy, you can't bring a chainsaw on a plane. I didn't bring it, I found it! Why would there be a chainsaw on a plane? Our boss lady Muriel put it on here, in case we need to cut the passenger's bag and have to fit it into the bag holding compartment thingies. Doofy, please tell me you haven't done that before. No way, that'd be rude! Okay, good. Whenever I can't fit the passenger's bag, I just take all the stuff out of the bag and I stuff it into the holdy thing, and then I just throw the bag off the plane, so we save electricity! What? How would that save electricity? Never mind. Okay, what were we talking about? The giant antennas on top of our plane that were flying to the city to help stabilize the recent fluctuations of power surges that have been causing blackouts in the metro area? Um, yeah. Well, kind of like you said, there were some problems in our city, so that's why we had to go fly and pick up these giant robot legs. Antennas. I, I meant to say antennas. Actually, antenna, one of them just fell off. What? It's all good. According to my calculations, there should be enough sufficient energy in the remaining antenna to stabilize the city's power fluctuations until we're able to recover and successfully deliver the remaining antenna. Good point. I guess there is enough power in one antenna and we can just come back and get the other one later. Um, Doofy? Yes? Are you feeling alright? Well, I've been a little gassy lately, but that's probably because of all those tacos that Grandpa Straw's been making. No, I mean... How did you know all that smart stuff about the antennas and how they work? Oh, I was just reading out of this book about antennas. Doofy, that's a book on piñatas. Hey, look, I found a sandwich on the floor. And he's back. Look, it's all green and moldy. It kind of tastes like dust. Now my hands and my body are shaking. Is that normal? You want a bite? No, thanks. Okay, we're almost in the city, so let's just... Drop off this antenna and then circle around and get the other one so we can go home and probably we should also check you into the hospital for food poisoning. Yay! Whenever I go to the hospital for food poisoning, they always put me in that special room with the padded walls where all the sharp edges and furniture are covered in pillows. Good times, good times. Oh no, the other antenna. Oops, my bad. Don't worry, I'll catch it. You'll be no. Oh. Did I catch it? No, you landed on it and crushed it. And probably destroyed it. Just like a pinata. Ugh, well, I guess as long as we get them the other antenna by tomorrow, they should have enough power to last until then, so... Hopefully we don't get in any trouble. Of course. Yes! Doofy, why are you celebrating? We just destroyed something that probably cost over a million dollars, and because of us, the city has no power. Because, now that the antenna thing is dead, the Wi-Fi came back, and it saved my game! That was pretty lucky, wasn't it, Megan? <laughs>